Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this photograph on Facebook and wanted to know where they could buy split fonts like this. And a lot of people have commented, you can very easily make this and you really can. And to make it a few simple other steps, I just took some of the letters that are in the picture and I've already done one. I'm going to hit P and put it at the center of the page. That's going to end up helping me in the long run. I am going to go ahead and take that text and go to object and convert it to a curve. I am going to left click, right click. And this is much more easier than you would if you were going to cut this out or engrave it because it's basically three parts, the bottom part, the top part, and the name. So then you just kind of pick, you know, if you wanted the, the bars a little bit wider, you can make them a little bit longer. You make it about like that and then hit plus key on your keyboard and just kind of move it down. And then I'm going to hit P and I'm going to move it down. Let's say I'm going to change my nudge factor. If I want that opening to be a half an inch, I'm going to, or let's say an inch, I'm going to nudge it down one half inch. That's probably too much. I'm going to hit P and I'm going to nudge that up. So that's too much. So let's go a quarter, 0.25. And why this is helping you is one, it's going to be in the center and that's going to help you in the long run. Now, in some letters, it might be different, but from there on, this is relatively easy. You just need to keep a couple of things think of. You need this bar inside there. So we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and with a pretty steady hand, you can slice all that out. I'd go ahead and do top and bottom at first. And then all you need to do is take out this part, actually take out that center and take out this top part. Now by putting it in the center of the page, this has tremendously helped us. So now we can actually take the smart fill tool and fill it in with black and black. And William, I don't know, I can't remember if this is William or Williams. I guess it had to be Williams. Then pick the text you like. I'm going to say Times New Roman. And this way, instead, of, I don't even know if you can buy fonts like this. Uh, but then if you hit P, and the, your word is in the center of the page. So if you had to do a lot of them. And also, if you wanted to do the whole alphabet for the future, you could just keep these, you know, go ahead and write out the whole alphabet. You wouldn't have to do them all in case you're not going to sell them. But then when you make your bars, save your bars. You know, save that, save that thickness of the bar, put the plus sign, move it. Whoop. That didn't work too well. Hit the plus sign and make a duplicate of it. And if you move it like that, you can always put L for left and kind of center it. And then let's just move this one out of the way for a second. And let's put both these in the center of the page. And then we're going to grab in, in, I'm not saying a quarter inch is magic number, but we're going to grab one of them, move it down, grab one of them, move it up. So if you save that and made duplicates of that, let's just control G and group it together and control D and make a duplicate. And then you could use that for many, many letters and they would all look identical. Then just hit plus on your keyboard and make some more, you know, keep them, keep them in that file and then just take your S. Don't forget to, and I hit P to put it in the center page. Don't forget to turn it into a curve. Left click, right click. S is going to be a little easier because there's not as many inward lines. Whoop. That's what I said earlier about a steady hand, but always, whoop, always zoom in. Just take the virtual segment delete key and as long as you don't touch the other line and then just remember to take out the outside of the lines and the center of this. And there you go. You've got it that fast and type in the word Smith. And by doing that, and also you could do this. You can actually take that word 
let's say let's say you're going to do them all because customers are going to come in. Hit the plus key on the keyboard. Take that Williams and hit P, put it in the center of the page, and just go up here to your text editor and type in Smith. It's going to give you the same font. Now, if you notice it didn't work very well, because if you go to Center Justified before you change this, that way when you put it in there and hit OK, the Smith's already there. It's the same size as the other fonts. Anyway, it's a lot easier sometimes just to draw something than to try to buy a font. Because one, if this is this is a good font, uh, I just picked another font. Let's see what font this actually is. Um, it's not a bad, bad font. It's uh, Hofer Text. I can't even pronounce that. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.